All right, welcome here to uh, the Albert Island Colonial Fieldhouse tonight. We have a great matchup tonight, actually. This would be a big win for Albert, Albert Island Colonials tonight. Uh, they lost down at Kiski 68-58 the first meeting, but 3-11 uh, Kiski comes into town tonight. And uh, Alex, what do you think? I don't know. That was a rough loss for the boys down at Kiski. I know they were uh, anticipating to win that game, so I think they're going to be coming out strong here to start off. Yeah, and, and uh, you know, I talked to Coach Fred a little bit about it even before. I said, what's the toughest place you can play at yeah. in your section? He always says Kiski. He said yeah. there's weird sight lines. You know, the gym's not as light up. It, you know, it's darker. Yeah. He said, you know, it's a tougher place to play for him. Yeah. So um, we'll That's see what difficult. happens. Frazier was a gym like that, too, I remember. Very true, very true. Well, Moody takes the opening tip here. And it will go to Kiski. And it's going to stay with the same starting five that the uh, Clinals have opened with, with uh, Mosey, Knox, Kutek, Dunham, and uh, Moody. And no good as Knox pushes it up for it, up to Mosey. Mosey no. driving out to Kut Good passing by the Colonials. Drive by Paul. Yeah, quick Knox. ball movement right here. Mosey with a shot. No good. And a rebound controlled by Kiski. As Basiglia takes the ball off the court. Yeah, I, I had a good conversation with um, with uh, Mosey. He said he's going to take the ball to rack if he gets an opportunity. So he's going to do it early and often. Yes. As Knox pushes it up court, drives, and the floater is good by David Knox. Great shot by Knox as we get him on the scorebook in the scorebook early on. Yeah, all set up by the Tanner Kutek still. Almost got another one here. Yeah. And they, they said tonight you're going to see a full court man pressure. Expecting contact there was the Siegley as it will be colonial ball. Yeah, and they played him in that 12, uh, that 12, uh, yeah. Zone pressure, you know, that. I'm a fan of that. Albert Gallatin runs that pretty well. Yeah, so they're going to change it up a little bit, and Kiski's going to pressure a little bit too. Yep. Mosey, a lot of body contact there, but no foul called as Kiski pushes it up. Yeah, he Siglia. gets blocked on the attempt, but uh, Mosey with the first two shots. Moody keeping his hands away. That's the drive, and the bucket is good by Jonathan Bracy. Yeah, we're going to hear the Bracy brothers a lot tonight. We've got both of them playing. We have to remember to uh, say the first names. That's right. And that will be off of Kiski and Albert Gallatin ball. Yeah, that's going to be off Deshaun. Deshaun's actually the leading scorer for Kiski at 18.4 uh, yeah. tonight. So solid player. Uh, day in, day out, day out, he's going to be a, you know, yeah. he's going to give you points. Your score. And Knox pushes it, gets blocked, I think, and no. actually deflects it to deflects Moody. Deflects it, yeah. Picks it back up. He's going to look inside. He sees great Mosey pass. quickly. Great pass, great finish. Good cut, great pass, great finish. Good sequence there by the Colonials. Yeah, and just like we like to see, we like to see buckets near the rim. Yes. Good things happen when you get in the paint, and they're going to call a block. Yeah, they're going to get Moody for the first one, but. Uh, you know, and Coach Fleener's going to tell him the same thing. Hey, slide your feet. Yeah, if you exactly. don't slide your feet, it doesn't happen. Yep. Looks like they're going to pack into a 2-3 here underneath. Knox guards the ball. They look. And that's how you want to play defense out of Colonials. Our hands out, nice and wide, cut off passing lanes. And the dry bucket, no good. Paul Dunham rips down the rebound. Good rebound for Paul. Yeah, it looks like, looks like the offense is going to run through Jonathan Bracey tonight. Yes. You know, off at least to the right side of the the Colonial defense, he has had multiple looks. Yep, drive by Mosey, and they're not going to call anything on that. Uh, would have thought it would have been either a jump ball or a reach. Yeah, I agree. It could have been either a jump ball or a reach, and I think neither one was called. Nope. Uh, well, it'll be Colonial ball as we'll Knox up. gets it up top. The only person that's going to be able to tell tonight is Ed, uh, as we have Sterator in the stands tonight, so he's going to evaluate yeah. the refs and yeah. we'll know what will happen. Yeah. But nevertheless, it's 4-2 tonight. Colonials uh, over Kiski. Jonathan Brace takes it strong. Oh, nice. Does and, not get the foul, but. And I was just going to say, I could see early on that these uh, referees are going to allow a physical game tonight, so, yeah. which I like. But no good for Mosey. Good box out by Kiski as uh, uh, Yeah, that was a deep court. three for him. That was kind of, hey, I know you got the green light, but uh, yeah, get um, some shots under your belt, and then they'll start falling. Yep. And the drive here. 
And it's going to be a charge. Good job by the Colonials as Nathan uh, Blankham uh, Bicker came down the lane. Yeah, and, and Bricker, Blankham Bricker's been their uh, second leading scorer. He's averaged about 13 a game, 15, you know, 13, 14 a game. So, you know, he's going to come down and play hard. And yep. Seems like he was just the, he just wants to get in the scorebook. Yeah. And where do you go when you need uh, when you're looking for points? The rim. To the rim. Out to Mosey. Mosey drives. Out to Kutek. Kutek controls in the corner. Able to finagle out of the corner. Mosey ball work. Swings it back around to Dunham. Dunham, Dunham, Dunham looks Dunham to uh, Mosey. Mosey with some great ball handling. Bucket is good. Beautiful move by Tavian Mosey. Yeah, a ball on the yo-yo there right, for sure. Yes. Beautiful move as uh, Deshaun Bracey is taking, uh, running the offense now. Yeah, Mosey, yeah. Mosey yeah. good close out. Yeah, and that's what the Clutters are doing. They're looking to close out. You know, you don't want to leave your feet with Bracey out there. He's going to take the shot. Kutek yeah. gets the defensive rebound. He's going to run it. had a steam. It. No good. It's Knox, tough. boy, he skied for that one. He was, he had his forearm over the rim. And they're going to say he stepped out of bounds. So it'll be out for Gallatin Mall. And, and Coach Feener early on is going to go to his bench. And he's been getting great bench minutes this year. Yes. Uh, especially in the second half of this season is in this conference run. Yeah. He's going to put in Marcus Moore. Marcus had a great game the uh, last game we called. Yeah, so you're going to see Marcus Moore and Matt Rankin spell quickly. Yeah. And, and another name you're going to see tonight in this in this deal is going to be Colby Uphold. Yes, he's been important for the Colonials. Partially Great deflected. Great underclassman. Kutek with his first missed shot. Was deflected a little bit. They're going to drive. And a wild shot, no good. Yeah, it, Kutek slows down. Out of control. Good pass. And straight up and down as it'll be. Kiski ball. Yeah, and it, you can tell the Colonials want to run tonight. Yes. That's usually what they uh, they want to do, uh, control the pace of the game. And that, that defense is giving them some fits. That's a great cut. And the finish, beautiful finish by Jonathan Bracey. Quickly down uh, the floor. Gonna They're going to try the walk. He walked. Yeah, Marcus definitely with the turnover there, but uh, you can tell they want to get that ball up yes. the floor as quick as possible. Tonight. Yes. As we have Deshaun Bracey bringing the ball up the court. Kiski's leading score. Yeah, they're seeing this man-to-man -man defense. And they're going to thing come back here right. his brother. Learn your ball. And you can hear the student section led yes. by, uh, I don't know who it's led by this year. I don't know. Uh, Galetz is big down there. Uh, we have, uh, yeah, no Paul for, uh, Paul was more of the football. He's, he's out on the court. Yeah, so pretty good student section tonight. Blackout they were tonight. Blackout for sure. It's been really good one for a Tuesday night. Absolutely. Mosey looking to drive again, kicks out the Moore, swings it to Kutek. Kutek thinking about it. Yeah, he's, he's thought a few times. And I think later on as this game develops, he's going to let the uh, pull the trigger a little bit more. Yeah, he's going to have to score, and that creates more yeah. balance for Knox and uh, and uh, Mosey tonight. But remember the, the last game we called, they just couldn't pull it out. I remember Kutek, he only uh, he only had a couple attempts. Oh, he struggled. And he uh, he kind of shut down there in the second half. I well, just couldn't get anything to fall. I mean, he, yeah. And, and he's a streaky shooter. If he gets hot, he's hot. He's if not, he's hot. not. Yes. Knox drives the lane, no good. A lot of body contact this game, uh, and I'm glad they're letting the game go a little bit and not uh, whistle happy. Physical games are good to watch. They really develop teams. And inside, yeah, yeah and they're gonna call Marcus. Yeah, no question, Marcus. And, and, uh, and, and size-wise, that's a mismatch for Marcus. Yeah. Only the Colonials' second foul, so three fouls called in his first period. It's 146 remaining, 6-6. Six, six. And inbounded. 
as Franklin like thought about it. And he was shooting really well in front of the student section prior to the game, yeah. so, so I was surprised he didn't pull the yeah. shot. Maybe they got into his head a little yeah. bit. Mosey misses, and now he hits him, and a little too late as Moore is trapped inside. Should have went up with it. Uh, as the ball's turned over, take it up court. Bucket is good by number 24, Ross Grease. Knox picks up four half out to Mosey. Mosey down low to Marcus again. Kutek lines one up, and it is good for Colonial three, as that'll bring our score. That's two times they got to Marcus eight. Moore. He fumbled it twice, but this time yeah. he just got it out of his hands. Got it to Kutek, and that's a great sign for Colonial, so Kutek yes, gets shots is. like that. Yep. Franklin playing with the ball on top, spins it to Blanken Bricker, and he way off the mark there. Kutek with the defensive rebound, brings it up court, finds Knox, he's gonna shoot, and he's off the mark. I'd like to see him get a good possession there. Get, get a yeah. bucket, but you know, kind of a low scoring first quarter. These teams are gonna play that way, I think. Yeah. Rankin with the steal. We've got 28 seconds here. Moses is going to dribble into the... Uh, something with it. They leave him kind of open. He might have the green light here. Out to Kutek. Kutek calling for a screen. Goes away. No good. As Kiske will have the ball with 15 seconds. I'm sure they'll hold for the last shot. And they will. And who do you think takes a shot here? Is it Bracey or Franklin? Uh, I think it would be Bracey. Yep. Yeah. Because you see the clock here. Good. Yeah, good defensive stance there. Now, I, th I mean, this is a good first quarter. Good first eight minutes from both teams. Yes. Um, I don't. I mean, to be honest with you, that's actually a lot of fun to watch. If you like it defense, is. this it feels is. more like a college basketball game. It does. Than a uh, high school. No, no question. No question. So, uh, nine eight, end of the first. I mean, Colonials. Uh, Obviously not a whole lot of points, but Mosey and Kutek and Knox really the only scores you know, right now. You know what that uh, has to do with it? Uh, they're not calling a lot of fouls here tonight. Well, we haven't had anybody at the line yet. No, three fouls for the whole game, so uh, kind of been a general theme today. Yeah. We didn't have any fouls in ninth grade game. No, we, we did. It got a little out of control towards the end. But, uh, yeah. Oh, we got the big win today, though. Absolutely. So that's Great good. win for the guys because uh, I know they wanted to beat Bell Vernon. We yeah, played in front of their, their students. And yeah, tough, it was a tough situation going down there. But, uh, and that was an early game, uh, one of the earliest games of the year, too, you know, to remember. Yeah, the young Colonials are starting to come together. Yeah. Well, the possessionary goes to the Colonials, so uh, we'll see what they have to do here. This is, this is a nice bucket here. You can extend the lead a little bit. Yeah. Comes back to Kutek. I'm surprised Kutek just ready. Isn't, he's ready to fire, but it looks like he wants to drive on these guys. He does, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. And they're going to call a reach here. That'll look like it'll be on number 25. Yeah, a little too much body there. That's Nick Basiglia. Yeah, both teams are wanting to come off a of, off of victory here. You know, the Colonials played Latrobe the other night. Obviously, not the game that you <laughs> you want to have. And. Yeah, you know, and that's the best team, and probably the Whipple, if you ask me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And the Nosey with the contested three gets it to go down. Yeah. And then you got Kiske coming off a big loss to this weekend, they had, or this past week. They played Penn Trafford. They lost 80-42, to 42, so they're looking for a win right here. Yes. No good. It's batted out and controlled by the Siglia. Yeah, Franklin coming in. Gives Giving some good minutes, trying to run the point here. Yep. Swings of the greasy. Here he goes driving. They're looking to set the charge on it. And good close out by Uphold. Basiglia. Running the offense here. Yeah, they really want to slow the game down, make Abergon work, and they're going to try to get layups tonight. Yes. And out again to Grease. Grease over to. So they come back with Colby Uphold here and uh, Hunter Moody check in. Still Kutek, Knox, and Mosey still in there. They're making a earn it. defense by the Colonials here thus far. As uh, they're making them, everything is, is high. They haven't penetrated that second level yet. And now they do. 
And Kutek will get called for the foul. Yeah, as long as, uh, long as the bucket didn't go in. I mean, he's going to yeah. make them earn it. But that's they right. did finally break down the defense that got in there. Yeah, that's right. So they haven't penetrated the second level the whole possession until uh, that point. Well, Franklin's going to take two here at the line. one is good. Yeah, the student section couldn't shake him there this time. 12-9 here. Franklin up with his second shot coming yes. up. They Some subs make, coming in. Seem to make friends with uh, Franklin. Friends, frenemies, if you want to say friends and enemies. That's true. As he gives a little smile uh, every once in a while when the student section uh, obliges us. Moody, home run pass by Knox to Moody. Yeah, they saw that all We the saw way. that freshman year almost uh, a ton. Nobody guards Moody. <laughs> Exclusively. And thinking about it is Bracey. Deshaun Bracey, that is. Down into his brother. John up and no good. Trying to rip down the rebound. Off Moody. Colby up. Hold gets pushed. Uh, but Albert Gallatin retains possession. And uh, out to Moody. Moody jumper, no good. And rebound pulled down by Kiske as it is given to Franklin, and he pushes the issue He's going to probably towards. drive the lane here. Nice spin move, Then they're going to call a foul, as that was uh, some contact. Yeah, I thought it was jump ball yeah, all the way, but that's it that's what it happen. looked like, and uh, I'm going to call a shooting foul. And it's going to be a shooting foul, too. If anything, I would have thought that would have been on the floor. He didn't make a move up to the bucket. Uh, I don't know what... Uh, First one's no good, but I didn't see him make a move up to the bucket either. Oh, yeah. That's a big questionable series uh, here for, for Kesky. I thought it was jump off. Well, no farm, no, no foul there. Colonial ball. As Kutek will inbound here. As Knox surveys the court, almost to steal, back to Knox. Mosey with the little shovel pass and thrown out of bounds. Yeah, he. As that'll be, Kiski ball. And out to Franklin. Franklin, it's a long skip pass to Jonathan Bracey. Drives the lane hard and it is good. Nobody yeah. stopped baseline. Yeah, you gotta you gotta stop the baseline. You have Put to. Put your foot on the baseline, drive them to the center of the defense. Oh, up hold just could not handle the pass. Great pass, great backdoor cut, good pass, just could not handle it. Yeah, it, and I'll be honest with you, uh, Moses he drives he he commands a lot of attention. And when he drives the lane, you 80% of the time you're thinking he's shooting yes. the ball. Yes. And he's being smart right now. If he starts dishing, he's only going to get better looks. Yeah, exactly. As uh, Bracey bringing it up. Dunham checks down in. Down low. And uh, bucket is good by Deshaun Bracey. That's 14-14 all. Another Trying to get a cheap one back. Pass. Knocks to Moody again. Another home run pass. That was great. As Deshaun Bracey brings it up court. It looked like a football player right there. It did. And Knox was a former football player, and Moody, of course, is the quarterback. Has the steal. So a little nervous there. Another turnover. Ooh, his foot was on the line. Yes, they caught that too, as it'll be Albert Gallatin ball. 16-14 here, 430. Obviously a very low score. Yeah. This, <laughs> I think the first one to 50 wins tonight. Yeah, I think so. Good game, though. I like these games. Physical games, de defensive games. As a turnover, as they're going to trap, and it's off. Yeah, it is off Kiske. Uh, they sh they show Bracey just lost control, as it'll be Albert Gallup with the hey, ball. You, you make a turnover, you make a mistake, you go back and force one. Exactly. So we, we see that from one of our players, uh, Julius uh, Dotson. If he makes a mistake, he uh, he really gets back at it at the defensive end with his aggression. No question. Up to Dunham. Dunham drives the lane. Bucket no good, but he will be shooting too. 
Yeah, the fouls are starting to come in this game. Now, finally, we got more, way more this uh, yeah. this second period. I don't think we're going to make it to the one-on-one -on -one yet, but. No, not yet. Not yet. We may make it there. As Dunham lines up the first one here. Hey, he's towing up the first one. First yeah, one goes in. It is good. Dunham, he was uh, a pretty good pure shooter. Shoot any shot. Whether it be free throws, three pointers, corner, short corner, mid range, no good. It's on the second one. As Franklin looks to take Kutek up the court. So Kutek cuts, good job to cut him off. Didn't give up on the play, good job. As John Bracey dishes it to Franklin. Yeah, he's looking for him. Try, still trying to run the game through Bracey here. Yeah. Blankenbricker somehow gets into the lane and yeah. makes a bucket. Beautiful finish. With a little bit of contact that does not hinder him as Mosey pushes it up court. Uh, Mosey dribbles out through. of it. He dribbles out of the trap and no jump shot. No good. As Blankenbricker gets the rebound out to Franklin. Yeah, he, you know, I like, you get trapped, you got two things. Back up a little bit or step through. Exactly. He, he did both. <laughs> yeah. And the shot. No good. Mosey, big rebound, rips it down. Mosey head up, driving the lane, gets blocked as it will stay Albert Gallatin ball. Good defensive plays there by Kiske to uh He's going to stay aggressive. Feet. Yeah. A little stack play here. They look for a quick one. Looks like he got pushed got coming him. out of there. Yeah. Dunham, Dunham drives the lane to Moody. Moody knocks, knocks, lines up a three. No good. As rebound ripped down by Jonathan Bracey as Franklin brings it up court. 17-13 here, 2.47 left in, the, uh, left in the first half. Very defensive game. Franklin, nice, nice screen. Uh, well, it was actually a little bit of slip off the pick, and uh, his man hit him early. Yeah, I think that's the last you're going to see of Moody for this half. Rankin's right ready to check in. And yeah. Mosey takes a deep one. Yeah. That was out by the sea of the Colonials. Siglia gets the rebound. Franklin. Marcus Moore's going to check in as well. And Franklin drives the lane. Back out. And back into Franklin. Spins, turns. Out to Jonathan Bracey. Bracey, good. Off the glass. Kissing it off the glass. As Knox. Brings it into the corner, dribbles out of the corner, smart play. Out to Mosey. Mosey is going to drive the lane, and they are going to call it travel on the hop step. So a couple bad possessions here for Colonials. They're down 17-20 now. Yes. Uh, three straight uh, tough possessions. Yes. As uh, they give Mosey a break here and Moody. So they will bring in Marcus Moore and Matt Rankin. Yeah, and, and Fleeter's going to tell them straight up, hey, hey, listen, just make plays, do what you normally do, and yeah. go play. As Rankin with the foul. Yeah, and actually a good foul. It was. One where he's not going to make the bucket. Did get beat off the ball, but didn't allow him to make the bucket, so. Yeah, exactly. That's why I said he did get beat, but he made up for it uh, by hustling back. You can't give up on the play. First free throw is good as that is blank breaker at the line. And blank and breaker lines up the second one. And it is good as well as he hits both free throws, extending their lead 22-17 with a minute, minute 35 left here in the first half. Middle, yeah. Mosey. Mosey back in the game. It was just a quick substitution. You know, kind of the same things we tell them. Don't try to dribble do double teams if you don't have to. Yeah. Mosey three, no good. He just can't find his range yeah. right now. He'll get it. Just needs a couple. He's one, been a very good one, second half player. Yeah. He needs one shot to go down and he gets hot quick. Ah, uh, they're gonna call a kick.
And I think you're arguing it too. Like, yeah. can it be a kick with an offensive player yeah, that's still in the ball after yeah. he's had possession somewhat? Yeah, they did. They did have possession for about a second, lost it. You always see it on the defensive end, though. Yeah. Well, it's never called for offensive. It's a, it's a defensive infraction, but. under a minute here and the bucket is good wide open bucket uh, that is Nate Blankenberger Jake Mahan's going to check in as well they're looking for somebody underneath that's going to play through the screens yes Got the knocks, knocks. Yeah. and the tempo is really starting to amp up here for uh, oh yes for Kiske Franklin they're making Rest. buckets they're not afraid to slow down and they're going to make you earn it they're really running and jumping real well right now yeah Sean Bracey dishes it off. Jonathan Bracey out to his brother Deshaun. Lines up the free throw line jumper and it is good. And he has an unorthodox shot. I don't know if you've noticed that, but he pulls his guide hand off pretty quick. But it seems to work for him. Kutek lines one up. No good. And has a rip down by Bracey as Franklin up to court. And no good. And that'll end the half. Yeah, Fleener's ready to get to the locker room and discuss this a little bit, but yeah. not happy with the end. You know, they go on a uh, they go on a 10-0 run to finish the half. So yeah, 26-17. Got a 10 minutes here to think about it and and better figure out a uh, solution for Kiski right now. Yeah, exactly. But 26-17, uh, Kiski up. Uh, we'll be back with you at the half. Doing great. Let's just, we're gonna try this again, okay? Okay. Wheels, pedals, handlebar, brakes. Sit up straight, keep your weight in the center, keep your eyes on the road, hands on the grips, button the seat. If we feel ourselves falling, what do we do? Just, just keep, keep pedaling. Good girl. Now remember, it's all about balance and steering. Steer with your hands, steer with your body. Steer into the corners and you stay out of trouble. And the bell's your buddy, so go ahead and ding that. All right, you ready? Here we go. Pedal, honey, pedal. There you go, you're a bike rider. Most parenting is hard to do in just two minutes. But two minutes twice a day making sure they brush is easier, and it could help save them from a lifetime of tooth pain. Hey, did you know 2.4 million loving cats and dogs in shelters and rescues need our help to find a home? Let's go to the shelterpetproject.org and meet a few are in a shelter near you. Harlow, oh, she's one great listener who loves to hear all your stories. My kind of cat. Cerulo is a sweet, goofy boy who's eager to please. Sounds just like another dog I know. So go to the shelterpetproject.org, search your local shelters and rescues, and go for a cuddle with your next best friend. Adopt. All right, welcome back to uh, from halftime here. Got 33 seconds left here with the uh, clock running out. Both teams kind of getting their last bit of strategy in, 26-17. So what are you thinking out of uh, halftime there, Alex? Uh, I think that uh, Albert Gallatin is going to make some adjustments on uh, ball movement and offense and uh, try to run their plays through a little bit more, get some easier looks, maybe drive the lane a little bit and try to draw a foul. Yeah, and I think maybe that game will change a little bit. They're definitely letting him play tonight. That's some of the conversation I had with some uh, some good fans up here on the top on the top level of the, of the court. So there go Tommy Victor or or Coach Revag, Coach and Revac. and, uh -huh. and his dad. They said there's a lot of pushing going on tonight. Yeah, so. Coach Revac was talking some strategies, huh? He was. You got Coach Wado over there, golf strategy. That's true. That's true. He was a girls' basketball coach. He was. He was. Well, here we go. As back to action here as Kiske will start out with the ball. Yeah, and I, and I think a lot of it will just come down to shot selection. So they're going to give it to Basig uh, Basiglia here to start. A nice V cut by uh, Deshaun Bracey as he finishes for two. If you're Kiske, Kutek. you're not changing much. You like your trap. Good pass by Knox, good court vision. And Moody up strong, no good. As Kiski will bring the ball up the court. Deshaun Bracey lines up a three here. No good. Yeah, Blake and Blicker 
no luck there, but uh, Kutek gets it back. And Mosey drives strong to the lane, no good. As up and the drive here by Bracey, no good. Get, almost gets his own rebound. It'll be off Kiski, it'll be Albert Gallup the ball. As inbound to Knox. Knox walks it up court. Tries to drive, loses it, gets it back. Slows it down out to Paul Dunham. Dunham, Kutak, and uh, there will be a reach here that'll be called on uh, yeah. Masiglia. Yeah, at some point they're gonna have to call somebody. It's just it's yes. starting to affect the game. If, oh yeah. If you're only calling it uh, a little bit. And, and we saw that earlier. If you're not gonna blow the whistle, things will get out of control and you have to start oh, yeah. controlling it. You have, well, you have to set a precedent as the, uh, as, as the official. As Knox kind of hits the cutting tanner. Out to Dunham, Dunham no good, grabs his own rebound. And does not go straight up, and there's going to be a jump ball, as that'll be Colonial ball. As I thought Dunham would, Dunham had a, a couple choices there. He had a wide open lane. He could have went straight up. Uh, instead, it'll still be Colonial ball. Is that the Mosey? Yeah, Mosey's going to go to the line. Yeah, you know, and, and Coach Fleener is like, hey, listen, they're, they're fouling us, and that's it's becoming yeah. a difference in the game. Yeah. Now Mosey's going to go to the line for two here. As uh, this is where Mosey likes to gain most of his points here through drives and getting fouled, which is where, as a hungry player, as a point scorer, you do want most of your points. That's the first one is good. Lines up the second one here. And that one is good as well. Yeah, I talked to him today. I said, hey, get to the line. Yes. That's where you're best. That's your best. Pushes it up the board, and it'll be no good but the foul, which will send Deshaun Bracey to the line. Oh, it's it's actually it's gonna they be a charge. charge, okay. Yeah, and we've been seeing him leading with the forearm yeah. a lot. I mean, I will say both sides do it, but that yeah. was, when you're out in the open, it's a little easier yeah, exactly. to get caught. Yeah, the ref was right on top. Knox gets it to the middle. Man, he squeezes those passes in there like no other. As Bozy finishes, drives straight down the lane. I'll be honest with you, I don't know how he got that pass in there. No, Knox does a lot like that. He has such a, a crisp, firm, accurate pass that he can squeeze those passes in, in almost any situation. Well, now we got a seven-point game here. Now the Colonel's starting to strike back a little bit. Mosey's going to be start taking it to the line, and you're going to see that probably a heavy dose the rest of the game. Yes. And uh, there will be a foul called here. A couple Colonials around. They're going to call Mosey with his first, I believe. And they do. Yeah, and Coach Fleener, just don't play straight up. Don't try to go for the strip. Yep. There's a lot of contact in there anyway. One of them is going to get called for the foul at some point. Yeah. And the first shot is good. Extends the lead back to eight. Leah. And the second one, no good. It's Kutek. Slows it up. As Knox. Out to Dunham. Dunham looks. Knox, Knox, to Mosey, Mosey. Pulls up for three, no good. Has a rebound all the way out to Deshaun Bracey as Bracey brings it up court. Drives the lane hard, and the bucket is good. Yeah, that's where you want to kind of see the, that's where you want to see the, uh, that's where you want to see the uh, charge taken there. Yep. And Moody thought about it and then just kept moving backwards as Kutek will get the rebound. As Knox pushes it up, Knox out to Kutek. Kutek a little too far out to shoot. Knox pushes straight up, no good. Knox with his own rebound. And there's gonna be a push here that'll be called on uh, number 40. That's uh, Blankenbaker. Yeah, missed the shot, aggressive. 
knew he was short as the one shooting, so he knew he was short. He knew where to go to get the ball. Yeah, it's out to Knox. This is where I look for him to drive the lane right here. Yes, it's wide open. Does, and, and great pass to Moody. It's Moody with the good finish. Another yeah. good pass from Knox. Yeah, he drew the defense in, and as soon as he got him, he's sucking him right in. Yes, sir. As Bracey shaking and baking, and out, and uh, shot no good. That's shaking and bacon is only for the kitchen, bud. That's right. According to Mr. Shake Watto. And bake. That's what Mr. Watto says. That's most fucking good drive. As Jonathan Bracey out to his brother, Deshaun Bracey, and Bracey slows it up. Yeah, you're gonna see. I think you're gonna see them slow it down. They're gonna check back in Franklin. Franklin was a pretty good. Uh, he runs the plays to him. well. Yeah, he's going he's gonna to do it for him. He's going to run it slow for him. And he's a good, uh, uh, good floor general. Oh, driving. Bracey and Kutak will knock it out of bounds, and it'll be Kiski ball. Yeah, that's the place where you got to grab the ball when it fell down. I mean, it was yes. just laying there for you. Yeah, yeah. Get on the floor. What do you got to lose? Looks good in the eyes of the coaches as well. Good hustle. Good close out by Knox. It'll be no good. Kiski controls the rebound, and no, it will be Kiski ball. Look to be close. Yeah, that looked to be down, yeah. coming back our way, but yeah. uh, I saw it go off Basilia's foot. Well, anyways, Kona's out the ball. As Kutak drives the lane, will be blocked. Good block by Franklin. As uh, will be Maloney ball. Or, excuse me, Kesky ball. Yeah, they're going to call Moody for the foul. They're pointing the wrong way. See a press coming back into play here. They're going to go full court. And the pass is not. Well, it'll, I guess it'll work as Gracie. Out to Franklin. Franklin slows it down. They're going to make you guard the whole the whole half court here. Yes. They're already they're already taking two shots this half. Yes. If they really want to. No force. Davy with good defense, straight up and down, and they're gonna they're gonna uh, tap Moody with a foul here. That's going to be his third. I actually thought there was a walk the first yeah, time. I mean, like he shuffled it. his feet. Yeah. Before he even put it on the ground. Still remains 31-25. Jake Mahan getting in a, another substitution. Right, here we go. <laughs> Student section loves to see Jake in there too. Yeah, we really haven't Jake. seen him much this Not year at home. Much. Second one is good. As a 30-second timeout will be called by Kiski. As this will be good, Fleener can talk to the boys. No question. No question. Well, 32-25, and we got 3-10 left. They get this within about, you know, four. I think they got a very good chance. Yes. I, th I do think Kiski's a little more responsible with the ball. And now that they're up, they're just going to play it safe as they possibly can. You know, Colonials just have to hit a couple shots. They have to get a couple threes to fall. Yes. Or just put a run together here to have a shot at this thing. And I think that... Uh the, it, one shot by Mosey will get him going from beyond the arc. It's like a microwave. He heats up quick. No question. As we got a good student section down there, led by Joey M. Walker, Seth Collette, Donald Dillon. As Knox up to Mosey. Back to Knox. Knox surveys the court. Back to Mosey. Mosey looking to drive. And nothing there. Good defense. Knox back out. Good cut by Tanner Kutek. Good cut, good bucket. Yeah, you're seeing more, more cuts to the hoop tonight by Kutek. Yeah, and Kut 
Kutek has been running that. Uh, he's been the cutter. I saw the last game and noti I noticed that. And uh, I mean, he's perfect for it. He makes those cuts nice, hard, sharp, and finishes at the rim. Jake Mayhan with the rebound, so they bring in that little bit of size from number 21. Yep. Uh, try to get in and Dunham forced it a little bit. As Franklin able to get it out. They're gonna whistle, uh, whistle Mayhan with a quick, quick call. Yeah, it, I guess they get him for a block there. It wasn't much contact. No, not at all. But they called it, so. <laughs> they did. So uh, sure call. fouls are even up at four apiece, so. I, I think they uh, really made a point to call more fouls here coming into the second half. And they're gonna whistle him for another one. As yeah, they, there was body contact. Yeah, that time there definitely was body contact, and I think 21 uh, is going to pick up his second here, Jake Mahan. <laughs> you know, he's in there for rebounds and defense, yes, and, so and, that's and, what and they physicality. want. physicality. And physicality, so, you know, he's going to go in there, he's going to give us all. Kiski makes another one. 33-27, six-point lead. Like I said, get within four here or take the lead, and I think they have, they're in great shape. Yeah. Second one is good. That stretches their lead 34 27 with 220 left in the third quarter. It's good, that good pass out to good ball movement and it results in no good, but back up by Kutak. Kutak getting bumped down low as it will be Kiski ball. Yeah, that, I mean, they got to get a bucket there. Kutak's got to finish that thing in and out. Yes. Kutek was getting bumped down there too. Uh, a lot of contact. Let's just get inbounded. She's got more Kutek, Knox, Mosey, and Mahan on the floor. And they're going to get Tanner for a uh, reach. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of, uh, it's just two different halves of call in the game. I mean, you get one where you get some yeah. touch and others that took a lot of contact. Yeah, a lot, yes. Oh, almost a steal by Kutek. This is Deshaun Bracey with the ball at the top of the key. Franklin, Franklin's over to Jonathan Bracey. To his brother Deshaun, looking to score. Tries to drive the lane, nope. And out to his brother, Jonathan. And passes to nobody as it will be Albert Gallatin ball. I think that was intended for Mr. Hutchison. It yeah. might have been intended for yeah. Coach DuPont, but I wasn't yeah, sure. Hutch or DuPont, one of the two. They were ready, but. Uh, Is that an air ball little pass? Out of little, yeah, air ball pass. Yeah, something new as a bad pass there. As Jonathan Bracey up the court loses the handle. Jake Mayhem comes up with it and knocks, pushes it. Kutek tries to lane hard, and it will be good. Bucket good by Tanner Kutek. Yeah, good no call there. The yeah, kid it was. He definitely was, was flopping to begin with before contact. So lead down to five. I said four, you got to get within. Yeah. We're close. And they're going to settle for one shot here. They're, they're that kind of team where they're just going to yeah. settle here. As uh, this will cause Guess well, not. They don't. I th it would cause a colonial defense to be extended. As Mosey pushes it up and gets smacked as he will go to the line. Yeah, you have to call that one. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know. You never know. You... That one I saw his, his arm get definitely get held. Yeah. So. <laughs> Anything's possible in basketball. Monday Night Raw was last night. Yeah. Smackdown. <laughs> It was also Big Monday in college basketball, one of my favorite days. It is. It's awesome. Big Monday and, and uh, Super Saturday. Well, he makes the first of two so far. Let's see what the second one holds. Mosey is what, three for th three for three at the line? Three for three at the line. Let's see if he can make it four for four, as he is an excellent free throw shooter. And it is good. Very soft shot. Yeah, good free throw shooter today for the ninth grade team. We had uh, Chandler, Chandler Goodwin, our big guy, go nine for nine. Yes, nine for excellent nine. game for Chandler. He was a little, you know, a little more poised tonight, which I like to see. Yeah, he was definitely strong on the boards. Had 17 for the game, so good young freshman, tall freshman, uh, making some plays there. Physical well, freshman. Yep. 
34 31 44 seconds to go here in the third two tech two tech playing uh well, we thought it could have been a walk. He Thought definitely so. drove the foot. Yes. And fucking good by Jonathan Grayson. As Knox pushes it up court, as they don't really want to settle for one. As, oh! Yeah, he was. Good, good, good look for Davey, but uh, once you get that far in, uh, I think Jake was trying to get position to, to rebound. Yeah, and that's um, where you want him to shoot, too. Yeah, just take, take that shot. Uh, even though it was a good thought by Knox. He already won position. I thought he should have shot as well. But yeah. Nonetheless, it's 36-31 uh, within five. Could, looks like they're going to hold for the last, but he got him. He's going to drive. It is good. It's Colonials with five seconds here. And Jake Mayhan did not look back for the ball as that's some miscommunication as there are, is about five seconds, 4.8 seconds left here in the third quarter. Pass gets him a little bit closer. Yeah, a little bit. Which uh, with no really no time off the clock, so pretty good. And shot put up, no good. As that'll bring us to the fourth quarter. As we have our score 38-31. Kiski has the seven-point advantage over our Albert Gallatin Colonials. Yeah, Colonials are shooting 84% uh, from the line, just 15 right. from behind the arc, and uh, you know in terms of. Uh, Buckets, I mean, they're shooting 50%. They just got to shoot a little better for the game. Yes. Yeah, make a few more of the threes. If yes. you're take them. Take 13, you got to make at least 30% of them. Yes. And that's that'd be a huge difference in this game. It would be. So leading scores right now, you have uh, Mosey with 15. You have Modi, Moody with six. Kutek with seven. Uh, Davey Knox only with two. Oh, wow. Slow night for Davey. So you got to think that uh, you're going to see a little more action tonight yes. uh, in this last run for him. Yes. Oh, last buzzer's about ready to ring here. We got the uh, got the fourth quarter coming up. It's the final countdown. Yes, sir. The most, the longest and most exciting quarter of basketball. It's about ready to happen right now. So Stay Kiske tuned. up 38-31. And they're going to inbound the ball again to get the ball back. So Yeah. So the Colonials come out with uh, Marcus Moore, Tavian Mosey, Tanner Kutek, Hunter Moody, and uh, Davey Knox. And I think Hunter's getting a lot of play because of the size of uh, Kiske inside. Yes. Rankin just wasn't able to hold his own. Yeah. As out to Deshaun Bracey. V Look cut. It was a good, uh, good defense by Knox. It's still going to be Kiski ball. As. Whistle Knox with the foul. As uh, he started walking backwards with the screen, too. Uh, didn't catch that. Yeah, I, I definitely thought it was moving screen. Yeah, definitely. We know how to analyze screens, that's for sure. That puts him to the line for one on one. Uh, we have Jonathan Grayson shooting. No good. As Kutek controls. So no harm, no foul on the one and one. Takes it strong to the pocket. And they're going to call a travel on David Burns. That's a lot of body contact there. That's questionable. But uh, might have whistled him because he was out of control. As brought up the court here by Deshaun Bracey. Oh, nice cut, and 
Nice bucket there, scored by Kiski. Nine point lead here. And that was Connor Martin with the bucket. As uh, they are gonna call a foul here. Jonathan Gracie is out of second, Kutek to the line. Yeah, and, and Kutek with a nice slashing cut again. Yes. Gonna go to line Great for two. Tonight. First one is good. Line's the second one up. Second one, no good. Makes an eight-point game. Do you think Kiski slows it down or what? Yeah, definitely. I think so. They're really only looking for that layup. They don't want anything else That's right true. now. That's true. It's good to be hungry that way, though, too. Shot put up, no good. Knox just couldn't throw the rebound, as that'll be Kiski ball. Yeah, Connor Martin, he, he's definitely, either they're looking for the layup or he has the green light, no matter when he touches. Yeah. Because he's shot the ball every time he touched the ball tonight. Yeah. Beautiful shot. Good spin. Yeah, but none of them have fallen for him, though. He had one bucket. I think it might have, it might have been a layup. That's back out to Deshaun Bracey. Kutek playing good defense, keeping him in front of him. Good job by not letting them dribble penetrate. Well, they got to match up here. They got to go a little. Nice cut. Knox pushes it up court. That's Kutek. Kutek lines it up. It is, oh, that looked good all the way, but no good. That would have been big for Albert Gallatin. I got to whistle Kutek for the foul. Called Kutek with the foul, foul there. That's going to be his third. His third. So that's a big defensive foul. No good as it should be. Albert Gall and it will be Albert Gall with the ball. Yeah, it looked like Mr. Hutchinson won his hands on that one yeah. again as well. He wants the ball. Look at him faking the back, back yeah. behind the back. He wants the ball. He's hungry for it. As Mosey gets the ball up top. Mosey breaking his man down, drives the lane. Good pass to Hunter Moody. Moody out to Kutek, Kutek, three is good. And even though he missed his last attempt, his shot looked pretty good. So uh, hopefully Kutek's starting to get hot here. Boy, we need our three-point shooters right now. It's Kutek watching the hands. Martin Greenlight, I thought he was going to shoot at that time, but no. Bracey gets the ball back out of the point. Kicks. Back out to Bracey. Doing a little bit of a trap. Knox, good job, but come out and make himself known. It's good backdoor cut. No good, good defense by Moody. Knox pushes it up court. Knox head up all the way out to Mosey. Mosey drives, and it's going to be fouled. And we'll go to the line, 4-2. As our score here is 42-35, with 4.59 left here in the fourth quarter. As Mosey lines up the first shot. Yeah, you got five minutes to go here. No good, in and out. And he will line up the second one. Oh, that one is good. Blowing this with some pressure. Pushed up for it here. That's the cutting. Oh, big block by David Boggs on the cutting. Jonathan Bracey. Mosey drives. He's hungry. And he gets smacked and will go to the line. As that's another foul here on Jonathan Bracey.
first one is good. They're saying Marcus Moore may have blood on him or something like that, but. Yeah, as Aaron will be uh, called here. It doesn't have, to, well, he may have to come out of the game, may not. I like the substitution here with uh, Colby Uphold. Yeah. As. You have one shot here for Mosey, sunk the first one, looking to sink the second one. Yeah, and this might be a good substitution, I mean. Yeah, I like it. Second one was good. Uh, so that brings the uh, score here, 42-38, with 440 left in the game. Kind of trying to figure out the blood situation yeah. here. I mean, you're really... With this situation, just because of the white jerseys, you don't want to take out half your starting lineup because of, yeah. of any blood. Exactly. I mean, how, at this point, I understand, like, how, how is it only just our guys? He's going to take a full time out to make sure that he gets his. But how, how are they not? Uh, you can't tell on the, the Navy yeah. jerseys of the uh, Cavaliers of Kiski. Yes. A full timeout by the Colonials, 440. Now they're within yes, four. striking distance. That's very close now. Yes. Very close. You think they're, I think they're uh, going to make a pretty big push here coming into the finish line. Yeah, I mean, first quarter they won 9-8. They lost the second quarter 18-8. Third quarter they won 14-12. Now it's 7-4 in the fourth. So they got to win this one by uh, four more. Yep. Have a shot. And yeah, Amber Gallatin playing pretty good basketball now. Uh, this, may, this may slow the tempo down for a little while, but uh, Amber Gallatin really had the momentum and a run going as Mosey's been driving to the bucket pretty regularly and getting to the line. And a lot of has to do with the way the officials adjusted. He sees they're going to call these fouls now, so he's going to ta keep taking it strong to the bucket and hopefully getting some free throws or making the bucket. As it will be Kiski ball. Uphold still stays in the lineup here. And he's a very good defensive player. Yes, he is. For a and young he can, kid. He can score as well, too. As Kutek, it's going to be a push off there, but not called as uh, another one. Yeah, uh, it, yeah two of them there. As uh, they look like they are playing keep away here a little bit. I look Almost for them to come back with another push off here. Yeah. Third time you get called for it. And Jonathan Bracey with the ball. As Moody, good defense, blocking his man down. And uh, Mosey left his feet. Good thing they didn't capitalize on that. Good cut, good, uh, good hands by Kutak. As, uh, it will stay Kiski ball, but good hands by Kutak to uh, cut off the passing lanes. That's why you always have your hands up, boys and girls. Absolutely. And back out to Bracey. Bracey over to Martin. Martin back to the other Bracey, Deshaun. So they wasted and a whole minute and 10 seconds off the clock practically. I mean, yes. it, it still goes back to my reason. I think you still need a shot clock in high school. Yeah, basketball. exactly. I, I agree with that. I'm a strong supporter of that. It, uh, it really brings that element into the game of, of more difficulty. And it really makes it much, much more of a better game, a more strategic game. Well, and plus, you don't see a 38-42 game. Yeah. You see something maybe in the 60s, at least, with the shot clock. Yeah. With these two teams having to take shots a little more frequently. Yeah. Yeah, the Colonels are looking for that trap. You see if they can get one. If they can't, they can't. Quick but, steal. Uh, quick steal. I mean, they're trying to be patient. They were there. They just didn't get the steal. Yeah. Good defense, though. Mm-hmm. 
A long full time out here by yeah. Kiske. And this will give both players a, a pretty pretty long rest after that series. But before that series, they had a pretty decent rest with uh, Fleener calling the full time out and the, uh, the free throw and the blood issue on the jerseys. So both teams should be pretty fresh coming out of the timeouts. So they'll match up as well. Marcus Moore checks back in for Colby Uphold, so they go back with another defensive substitution here. That's Kutek with the defense. Not the Basiglia. Colonials extending their defense as they should. Another push off, not called. As they get the ball inside, no shot taken as they are uh, just playing keep away as the Colonials stepping up. Bucket no good, put back no good. Second, third put back no good and they, uh, they're gonna whistle a foul here. As uh, this will put uh, Jonathan Bracey to the line. First one is good. Stretches the lead to five. And the second one is good as well. As the Colonials will finally get a possession here. Mosey draws the lane. And the bucket is good. And the foul. I think it's a great call, actually. Yeah. I mean, the kid, he was set, but he was he was completely underneath the hoop. He was, yeah. Made bucket here makes it a three-point game, so uh, now it'll become a one possession if a bucket's made here. It is good. That's big. So three-point game here. Uh, as Kiski gets it in, gets it to Bracey. Deshaun Bracey, that is, as he brings it up court. And is brought up by Basiglia. See if the three-point game changes their mindset at all. Yeah. If they if they start to tack again, or yeah. do they hold the whole time? And they're gonna call a block here on Mosey. Yeah, not a good foul for where you're at. No. I mean, the only positive that can be seen from this is we've been seeing that they've been milking the clock for the majority of the time, so uh, less time would be run off the clock. As uh, Deshaun Bracey hits the first one. And he hits the second one as well. So with about 225 left in the game, uh, Knox turns it over, which is up court. Deshaun Bracey with the bucket. As uh, timeout Kiski. It'll be a 30 second timeout. Yep. As that'll stretch the lead here to seven. A couple quick buckets. Yeah, it's just a bad turnover at that point. It was. You know, I know you want to get down court, you want to rush one. Yes. But I don't know if you really, you know, you want to get a good bucket. I mean, yes. a good shot, a good quality shot. You don't even get a shot off at that point. So, yes. um, you know, you're down seven, 210. Changes that you went from a three-point game to a seven-point game really quickly. Yes. Okay, it'll be Colonial ball here as Kutek. Inbounds to Knox. Knox up to Mosey. Mosey, go. Oh. Good look by Mosey through Moody's hands. Hey, 
inbound with the Deshaun Bracey. Bracey sideline. That's the guy Should that once never, fouled. Yeah. He's not going to give it up until he gets fouled. Has back to Bracey. And Moody's going to get whistled. That's going to be his fourth for tonight, so he's got one more to give. Yeah. And then uh, he's going to be on the bench, so we'll see. I mean, he only got a minute 55. Seven, uh, seven points down, so. As Dunham comes back into the game. And the second one is good. Knox pushes it up court. Mosey. Mosey with the big three. No good. And slap down. Oh, Mosey's going to get the ball. And uh, it will be back court. As it'll be inbounded here. Yeah, and I thought it went off Kiski's foot, but. Uh, so the fleet, a big block by Moody, but put back up is good. As Colonials gave up on that play, that stretches our lead to 10. Mosey drives, puts it up, beautiful finish, kissed it off the glass. So that'll be a timeout for Albert Gallatin. That'll be a full time out for Coach Fleeter. Cheerleaders did a great job tonight as always. Yeah, minute 23, 51, 43 here. So, um, you know, a couple bad turnovers and a couple bad breaks for Colonials there, right back to back, so. Yes. You gotta get a steal, you gotta maybe try to extend the game here. Yes. You know, you're in double, you know, a uh, two shot foul situation, double bonus, so. Yes. This might be a long minute 23. If if they can make him miss a field goal and then get a bucket and then same, so we might, might get some extended time out of this. Yeah. Yeah, I think the big deal was uh, Knox only with two tonight. Yeah, that's a slow night for David. Full court pressure here. Trying to apply. By Albert Gallatin. Ten. And they just get it over. Bucket no good. And it is out on Kiski, so it'll be Albert Gallatin the ball with a minute oh one left. Yeah, they missed the travel at half court. They did. And Mosey will be fouled and will go to the line. One oh one left here. Mosey with the first, it's in. Mosey hits the first. Mosey lines up the second one here. It is good. Marcus Moore checks in for some instant defense with Paul Dunham. Paul looks like it's going to be an offensive defense substitution between the two the rest of the yes. game. Yes, good substitution. And the Colonials not going to get stealed. That's be close to 10 seconds. Call full uh, time out here. The time out. So again, we're going to get an extended uh, 60 second timeout here. 
They're down yeah. six now. Yes. A steal and a bucket's big. Yep. Quick one. That's the you know that's the optimal thing we can happen. I don't, I yeah. Mean, that's best uh, best case scenario. Both the teams in a double bonus, so any foul right now puts two to the line. Who can make free throws down the stretch? That's what's going to boil down to. It always does, usually. If it's within 10. Free throw shooting has a big impact on the game. And, and, and it's not like the Colonials haven't shot bad. I mean, they're 12 for 15 from the line. Yeah. Usually a solid, we're usually a solid free throw shooting bunch. So they've hit him with the home run a few times. They're going to set up in a 12 here. Yeah. Ooh, almost still by Kutek. Just couldn't get the trap. Move quickly up by Bracey. And he will be fouled. It's going to be his third tonight, Tavian. At this point, it really doesn't matter until, unless it was his last. Yeah. yeah. First one is good. Almost not in it. Almost oh. out. Second one is good as well. As in the Knox, Knox to Mosey. Mosey drives the lane. Bucket is good. Nice drive. Timeout by Coach Fleener. As that'll be a 30 second timeout. I believe all he has is 30s. How many do you get, Alex? You get two full and three, three uh, 30s. Okay. Something I wouldn't know. When I kept book, I'm trying to trying to remember what they got. No, it's two full. Maybe maybe four third. I think it's three 30s. Four Me seems too. a little much. Me too. We just take them till we don't have any more left. We usually don't get that far. No, no, not in that situation. As long as we don't do a pull Chris Weber when he called oh, the. Oh man, uh, so upset. That was the uh, the Fab Five. That ended it Michigan. right there. Michigan. Yep. Such a shame. Such a good team. He still will not talk about it. Yeah, uh, that will be a foul. Not not a bad foul in that situation. Trying to go for the steal. Long oh. walk for Baselia to, uh, down to the line here. He makes two here. That's a big, big bucket. They're just trading twos. And yeah. You know, I think your next possession down, if they miss this one, miss both, I think you take the three. Yeah. First one is good. There's your offense, defense, substitutions. Yep. Dunham's actually a pretty good shot from the corner. Yeah, he is. He has no problem shooting. It's the second one is good. As Mosey pushes it up court, takes the three, is good, steps it into three. As another timeout, Coach Fleener. The Clone was actually five for six in this uh, quarter in terms of shooting. Uh, everything else has been free throws. Yes, so it uh, cuts the lead to five. I mean, we yeah. could get a steal here, quick bucket, bring us within three. Mosey actually with a game high 30. Great game. Just like they've seen a couple more threes, just two more tonight for him. Yes. And, uh, He'd be shooting 50% uh, from threes, 50% from uh, low over 50 for the field, and he's uh, 10 for 11 from the line. And as we get ready to resume play here, 28.6 left on the clock in the game. As a long pass, 
almost loses that out of bounds. And Colonials get on the ground. Possession uh, arrow goes to Colonials. Yep, and, and uh, they think that's what the call is, the jump ball. Let's see here, if we get a three here or a bucket. Yes. Got to take the three here. You, yeah. I'm going to take number 15 unless with getting the big, shot. Unless there's a big lapse. Uh, because you still have that five point deficit. Ah, sloppy, try to get it to Mosey. Has uh, tried to go for it. Uh, uphold able to foul with 18.1 seconds left. So we're hoping for a couple misses here. As uh, that would have been big for Albert Gallatin if they could have gotten some points off of that. Uh, well, instead uh, it was a turnover. Yep. First one is good. Can't have another one though. Now, still within two, two possessions. possessions. This is a big free throw here. And it is good. Uh, Mosey pushes it up court. And, uh, misses the bucket and is going to be pushed down. As they're going to call a walk. They're calling a double technical. Yeah, that's what uh, that's what I figured they would do. Let him get the three-point opportunity. Yep. As Kutak to the line here. First one, no good. As Kutak steps up here for a second one. And it is good. It's Colonial still extending here, hoping for two misses. Yeah, I don't, I mean, there's a, not much you can do with 3.8. No. Oh, you're going to get one swing at it here. Well, that'll make it a, uh, a three-point deficit, uh, but uh, Colonials just couldn't pull it out here as it's 57-54. Uh, yeah, 57-54. Uh, about, about as close as you thought you were going to get tonight. I mean, I thought yeah. it was going to be a good game. Um, yes. But uh, 
unfortunately, Colonials are down and they yep. uh, lost the game. So um, this was a tough one for Albert Gallatin. Yeah, I mean, I was, I was kind of speechless to be honest with you. Was, yeah, I know. There was a lot of a lot of big plays, a lot of big moments for both sides of the ball. I just couldn't uh, couldn't close it just out. Couldn't pull it out, no. But 57-54, uh, Kiski. Be sure to check us out. Fade TV, Channel 77, Wednesday nights. And Saturdays. And Saturdays, 8 o'clock. So, uh, Abergon Sports Network, always a great job. And uh, we're out. <laughs>